Hey guys, it's Al. Let's talk about a refrigerator buying guide. Very important when you're buying a refrigerator to know your needs. You know, why are you buying it? What are your dimensions? What kind of style are you looking for? You know, everybody's lifestyle is different. So when we talk and just ask Al, it's not about what I want or what I like, technically. Maybe I can give you a quality advice, but what's good for your lifestyle? You know, someone might want an exterior dispenser, some might not need one in their family. You might want a bottom freezer, you might want a side by side. So always buy what you're used to, what you like, what works for you. Let's just discuss some of the critical components. So dimensions is always the key. It's amazing how many times someone will come and they'll shop, and by the time we're done, they go, oh, that's not gonna fit anyway. So dimensions are probably where you start. If you're doing a new kitchen, of course, you have a lot of options with that. You can make cabinets, you know, wider, narrower. A pretty standard dimension in the industry is 36 inches wide by 72 tall. That gets you into just about any refrigerator today in what we call more traditional style refrigerator. That's your fridge like this here. That's your 36, 72. This is a counter depth fridge. For those of you that don't know what that means, the body of the refrigerator is 24 deep. The doors have to stick out to swing, but the fridge is now sits flush. Yes, you lose capacity. Some people get and go, it's small. It's small because it's designed to be shallow. The reason for that is it doesn't stick or protrude into your kitchen like you see here with an island in the way. So this is a counter depth refrigerator. From here, let's say you want to keep the shallowness, but now you want more capacity. You move into what you would call a built-in refrigerator. These refrigerators come 36, 42, and 48 inches wide, where they sit a little proud of the cabinetry. Some have the compressors up top, not all brands, some have them at the bottom. It's a one-piece unit. They also offer this as column refrigerators, where they sit a little flusher. You can buy them individually to kind of create your own fridge, like a la carte. 30 inch fridge, maybe an 18 inch, a 24. A lot of options there to join two together to make the size you need. That now you can gain the capacity and the width where you're sacrificing it in the depth. A little bit more expensive for that type of refrigerator, but high quality. Lastly, this is a full depth refrigerator. I can't tell you how many times someone goes, I want the capacity, they put this in their kitchen, and then they're upset, and they go, ah, oh, it's, it's sticking out eight inches into my kitchen. That's why you need to know when you're pining your dimensions, it's important. Counter depth sits flush, full depth sticks out six, seven, maybe eight inches. What some people do, which is a nice trick, they want the capacity, they're building a new kitchen, you can actually make the end panels, now it looks flush. So if you have the depth, you can actually extend maybe whether it be into another room or, or just make the end panels wider. You can make it look built in. So counter depth, built in, full, it's most of you, there's a couple other options, but that's really mainly your three categories of refrigeration today. So really know what you're buying when you're going to the store. So you have kind of advanced notice of here's my dimensions, here's what I'm looking for, here's the capacity, maybe you have an extra fridge in the garage, be an extra fridge in the basement, counter depth might work for you. If it's your primary refrigeration space, you might need that bigger refrigerator. Don't overbuy for your needs as well. I see sometimes someone will come in and say, I want the biggest thing you have, it's 30 cubic feet, and it's two of them. And it's just massive in the kitchen. So just a little bit of advice, the three types of refrigerators for those of you that didn't know. And uh, check out on our blog, on our website, I have some more videos and I talk about it in depth about some other options, about panel ready fridges and things of that nature. Thanks. Thank you.